So I don't know if I've ever really made this clear before, but I freaking love Dungeons and Dragons. I've been playing it for uh, almost 20 years now, and uh, I've played through all the different editions. I always get the core rule books, and there's a brand new edition of it coming out this year. And Wizards of the Coast just released the D&D 5th edition starter set, and this is uh, basically the introductory box to playing Dungeons and Dragons. I got my hands on it and I wanted to talk about it. Inside the box you'll find a bag of dice. And this is actually better dice than they normally get. Like there's actually some texture to the dice color itself. Normally it's like a flat matte colored dice and these are a little bit nicer li looking so kudos on them for that. Inside you'll also find five pre-made characters and these are pretty standard characters. Elven wizard, halfling rogue, uh, dwarven cleric, a human fighter, and a different human fighter. There actually are differences between the fighters. One's like a ranged archer type, another one's more of a melee fighter. The pre-generated characters are okay. Like, they're not like the most creative by any means. Like, they're pretty basic stuff. They do choose all of your level ups for you. So on the back, you can see exactly what you're going to get when you level up instead of being able to choose. So with inside the starter kit, you really can't make your own. You pretty much have to use these five pre-made characters to play anything. It also has the starter set rulebook inside of it, and this has 30-some pages dedicated to telling you how to play. And for the most part, it really does. It teaches you a lot of the mechanics that you'll be using quite a bit when playing the newest edition of Dungeons & Dragons. Now, since it is the starter kit, quite a bit is left out. Like, there's nothing in here about character creation or character options when leveling up. They choose all that for you. The spell list is... Not the most extensive, but enough in here that you have some options. It also has a book of adventures called The Lost Mine of Fandelver. This is actually a pretty meaty book. It has like 60 pages or so in this. And it's actually five different adventures that you can play. Again, these work best with the pre-generated characters, as a lot of the encounters kind of expect those characters to show up. But it's got some pretty decent information here for would-be DMs. It teaches you how to read flavor text, uh, how to read monster information, how to use traps, DCs, all of that. And the adventures themselves are designed to get the pre-generated characters from level 1 to level 5. So it actually does a pretty decent job of uh, moving you along pretty swiftly and seeing how much your characters can change when you level up. And looking through the adventures, they're pretty good. They're not all just dungeon delving loot fest. There is a little bit of variety in here and they're pretty well done. And some nuancers look really, really cool. As for what else is in the box, that's pretty much it. You have a flyer for D&D Encounters, and the back side is a template to make a character sheet with the D&D Encounters logo on there, so you can go check out D&D Encounters and play locally or whatever. And then the rest of the box is just filled by this cardboard insert. Like, probably a good half of the box is just wasted because of this cardboard insert. I was really disappointed to see that there really aren't any character or monster tokens, or even a map. It doesn't even have to be a grid-based battle map, You just some kind of visual aid for the adventures that people are playing through, because looking inside the adventure book, there are some pretty cool maps in there that they could have printed out. This whole thing costs $20, and honestly, I don't think it's as good of a deal as, say, the Redbox was for 4th edition, especially since that came with more stuff actually in it. But if you're new to Dungeons & Dragons, this is actually a really, really good place to start. It's got a enough characters in there that you have variety. It has multiple adventures, which is very cool. Normally they only have like one or two. So this will definitely get you on your way. Now if you're an experienced Dungeons & Dragons player, this may not be worth it because it is very, very restricted in what's in here. There's absolutely nothing in here in how to create your own characters or even giving you an idea of what character creation is like in terms of like uh, feet, archetypes, backgrounds, uh, ability scores, races etc. Now there is a free online PDF at DungeonsAndDragons.com which gives another expanded 100 pages or so of just more rules for the new edition. But again, that's still very simplified, restricted stuff. Like it's still only about the four classes that they have in here. Fighter, Cleric, Rogue, and Wizard. So if you're an experienced Dungeons and Dragons player, unless you really, really want to get a taste of how the game plays right away, you're better off just waiting for the core rule books when those come out in August, September, and November. But otherwise, new players or people just really hungry to see what the new Dungeons & Dragons is about, this is worth it. I'm not going to talk about the game itself or how it works or even review that because frankly, I'm going to need the core rule books and make my own adventures to really see how good it is. But I can say, just from what I've been seeing, inside the starter kit and what I've been reading online, 
I'm I'm liking a lot of what I see. So new D and D, and I'm actually super psyched for it. As soon as I get some friends to play with me.